Most days, you'll find Officer Melissa Colligan <laughs> out and about in her community as a visible, reassuring presence. Sitting here talking to a police officer without worrying about going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but little would you know that just two years ago, Melissa Colligan was in the fight of her life. I got my diagnosis. In August of 2015, she received the diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia. Overwhelming as it was at the time, her illness stirred something inside of her. I want there to be a cure. I want, I want to put an end to it. So while this mother of three was fighting her own battle, she enlisted in the fight to cure cancer. Well, I came out of the hospital and I noticed that there was some fundraising going on for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, like right in my backyard. Um, little did I know it was part of this really large campaign called the Man Woman of the Year campaign. And I started attending with friends and family. We had t-shirts made. I mean, I was, you know, I was so fresh. I mean, I was still pretty weak and still going through treatments, but I wanted to get involved because I felt like a part of this leukemia family. And I know that they gave so much to us while I was sick that I wanted to be able to give back. While she was back at work, recovering from cancer, Officer Colligan enlisted friends and family in a campaign to raise money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and they called themselves Missy's Mojo. Hi, I'm Melissa Colligan, and I'm running for Woman of the Year for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. You know, we, we worked 10 weeks of writing letters, making phone calls, going to local businesses, hosting events, and we just kind of, I mean, we were all so motivated because I had just been through it and I feel like one of the reasons I'm alive today is because of the research that they've done. So I had people coming out to support and the cause and me personally um, from, from all over the country. In just 10 weeks, Missy's Mojo raised $121,000, which earned her the title of Woman of the Year for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of the Eastern Shore. I want to say I didn't care if I won or lost, but I'm a little competitive, so I, you know, I really, I was, I was hopeful, but I knew that every dollar raised was just a dollar that was going towards Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and so whether I, you know, won or lost would, I would still be making an impact. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. and if you have any questions for us, there's four of us here. Oh, good. I, just... do, I do have a question. And she's making an impact in her day-to-day -day work as a county police officer as well. Melissa Colligan is a community police officer for the county's okay, third perfect. district, a role she stepped into when she was recovering from treatment and getting back on her feet. A lot of blessings have come out of me being sick, and one of them was that I'm in this great position that I'm in now on the department. When I first came back to work, I wasn't healthy enough, really, to put my uniform on and go back on the street as I was before running, running calls as a patrol officer. So um, they put me into this community service position, um, and I, I'm loving it. It's, it's wonderful to go out and meet with schools and um, homeowners associations, uh, PTA groups, um, do station tours, come out to events like I'm, I'm at today where I get to reach out to the public and let them get to know us when there isn't an emergency. Um, you know, usually people only call us when it's a time of need. It's usually not a good situation. Here's my card. I work in the community service office. So okay. if you guys have any like ongoing concerns that you don't want to call 911 about, that you want us to address, okay. um, we have more time to look into stuff like that. She sat down and welcomed me aboard and thanked me for my service. And I thanked her for hers. And now I'm thanking her for what she does for the community. And I think it's a very honorable situation for all of us, and I'm very happy to meet her. Don't be scared of the police. When we caught up with her, Officer Colligan was showing some members of the intellectually disabled community what resources are available to them. These are bracelets that um, lets the police department or anybody else know that somebody with autism or an intellectual disability um, is wearing it. I didn't know about things like this. Well, because this is what I do. Being an effective community police officer requires a unique blend of skills, and her life experience has helped her relate to those she serves. I do. I go out about to maybe two or three or more events every week. Perfect. Looks good on you. Um, where we come and we 
um, bring our materials and some people want specific information mm -hmm. like the crime stats for the area that they live, recommendations on better home security. Um, I might do a presentation at the schools on bullying or safety. Today, the good news is Melissa Colligan has been cancer free for two years. She will tell you she's grateful for where she is today. And how do you feel today? I feel good. I feel good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I, I try and every day I remind myself, no matter what's bothering me or what kind of obstacle got in my way, that I'm not up at the hospital. I'm healthy. My kids are healthy and life is good.